Thank you for your memoir, Radical Love. Where do you find the power to be able to share all of that with everyone? Because one thing is to go to therapy. Another thing is to be able to share your story with the world. I mean, listen, I, I, I owe a lot to that. I, I owe a lot of that to HarperCollins um, and my incredible co-writer, Tanner Colby, who you know, helped guide me through that ride. I've never written a book before. They were like, you should write a book about your experience, which I was, listen, going through the experience I've been through with my mental health, um, having the uh, the privilege to be able to go and see the various therapists and and understand the things that I've been able to understand and knowing a lot of people don't get that. They don't have that, they don't have that, those resources, they don't have that time. Uh, I wanted to be able to distill as much as I learned and put it down so that as many people could be helped as possible. Uh, the people that are walking through the same flames that I did or do still. Uh, and I had so much support and so much help in making that thing and crafting that thing. And I've been so grateful that uh, the you know people will send me messages to, on social media or I'll meet them in person. And the book has resonated with them on a very deep level and helped them. And so I'm like, okay, mission accomplished. You know. How do you keep that going for yourself? It doesn't just end where I'm healed. Yeah, I mean, listen, you know, prayer, meditation, self-love, 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 reminding yourself every day that you are exactly where you're meant to be. You are you are a product of your environment, just as everyone else is. Accept yourself radically, forgive yourself radically, love yourself radically. Uh, uh, prayer, meditation, good sleep, uh, eating well, uh, cold tubs, and I love the love tonight. I love the I, oh, bro, it feels so good. It feels so good. And, and I've known James for, like, years and years and years. So it's really cool that, uh, yeah. What would you say to that little boy who was struggling back then, your, yourself, what would you say to him today? Love yourself. Also, stop trying to be cool. It's a lie. You don't need to go hang out with the cool kids. They don't even know who they are. All that stuff is all completely artificial, and, no, and nobody cares once you graduate from high school, unless you go to a university that cares, and then nobody cares after university. <laughs> You know, it's all this weird, bad click system that that hurts everybody in it. So, uh, yeah, that.